So hi, Micro Hunter here, and uh, you probably already know of the problem that uh, when you make a temporary mount, so basically a wet mount, when you put some water on the microscope slide, that uh, over time the water is going to evaporate. So you observe uh, the slide under your microscope and you have to keep on adding a little bit of water all the time, especially if you put the slide under the microscope for a longer time. You always have to keep on adding water, otherwise uh, yeah, the specimen is going to dry up and then everything's gonna be dead <laughs> on the slide. Um, and uh, this uh, can be, yeah, it's not a big problem really, uh, but it can be a problem if you want to store your temporary slide for a longer time because you cannot simply keep on adding water every half an hour or every hour. So uh, there is a little trick, a very simple trick uh, that you can make uh, slides storable and that is, is by putting the slides into an, a plastic box um, and uh, with a lid um, on top of it and by adding a little bit of water into the box uh, to make a so-called a humid humidity chamber. So then the humidity is going to be 100% um, in the box and uh, then the water um, is not able to evaporate. Now, of course, you do not want the water in the box to go on top of the microscope slide. So what I've been doing in the past is, is I always added a little bit of, of, of wet tissue paper uh, into the box here, and then I put the slides on the other side of the box. And uh, this is uh, possible, but it's not the, I would say, not the most elegant solution, especially also because uh, there is still the danger of water go uh, going on top of the slide. So uh, what I've done today is, is, and this is basically what I wanted to show you as a little suggestion, is, is uh, you can make yourself a little rack like this here. In this case, I have uh, 3D printed it, uh, but of course uh, you can use pretty much any system that you want. Uh, and uh, what you do, or what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put this rack now into the, um, into the box, into the lunch box. Um, and uh, this microscope slides, uh, I don't know if you're able to see this here, they basically, uh, I put them on the rack like this, and then in the, on the bottom here, I have uh, water. Yeah? And then of course, uh, the lid uh, goes on top, and uh, with this uh, setup, I'm able to store uh, the slides for a very long time. Um, I've already tried it out, of course it works, uh, but uh, there is a little bit of an issue as well. It's not a big problem. It actually works over perfect <laughs> in the sense that there, sometimes there is uh, some, sometimes water condenses on the on the lid and starts uh, to drip down on the slide. Um, so yeah, that's still a solution. I still have to find a solution for that. Yeah, but in in a, um, in any case, I just want to recommend that you also somehow make yourself something like this because it's very practical. Um, yeah, because you're able then to store your microscope slides for a longer time, and then you simply can continue your observation session of the same slide yeah um, after many hours after a day maybe even after a week of course uh, one thing that you have uh, to be always aware is, is that uh, because it, the, the living things are on the slide uh, they eat up each other yeah there's a food chain um, and uh, so of course it's possible that uh, for other reasons um, it's maybe not uh, quite uh, sustainable the environment uh, but uh, in any case it's uh, in yeah I would say a good uh, first uh, point uh, to start uh, in order to make uh, those uh, temporary slides uh, more storable. So let's uh, get started and, and I'm going to show you what I've done. So I designed uh, the rack uh, in a free program, free online program called Tinkercad. And I decided uh, to print uh, the four legs separately for stability purposes and also to reduce the printing time a little bit. But uh, the printing still took, uh, yeah, I think uh, over an hour. Yeah, here here it is. Uh, I simply designed it uh, without uh, really much uh, any premeditation. I simply made it as simple as possible and as quick as possible. Of course, I now had to use a glue gun to connect uh, the four legs uh, to the rack. I think uh, it's not the most stable way of connecting it, but then again, there are no stresses and no loads on the rack, so it really yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, so that's basically how it looks like, um, and uh, it's okay. Um, in my view, it's uh, perfectly uh, useful. Here, this is uh, the old uh, system that I used has a little bit of wet tissue paper still in it. Just simply throw it out uh, and the rack goes in here, slide goes on top and then of course uh, you have to add a little bit of water and then you have uh, your humidity chamber finished. Yeah, simply some tap water and they'll, that, that's all there is to it. Lid is very important otherwise uh, the evaporation goes on of course, Yeah, but that's it. So that's it. I uh, hope uh, that uh, you liked uh, this video. hope uh, that these, uh, th this tip here was uh, useful. In any case, I wish you all the best. Uh, happy microbe hunting as always. Please do consider subscribing to this channel. I also have more channels, micros microscopy channels. Please check uh, the description below and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.